a traffic stop takes a dangerous turn. Deputies say a man shot himself during that traffic stop. And then pulled the gun on the deputy who pulled him over. News 13's Lizay Mitri has the video. Dean Jessica, it was a tense situation. You can see in the video, first the deputy calls for help, seeing the man is wounded. Then he sees the gun in the driver's hand. Hey, he's got a gun, he's got a gun. Dashcam video shows the San Juan County Sheriff's deputy Saturday night as he followed 48-year-old Kurt Trenipole. Trying to pull him over as he drove with no headlights on. He's not really driving crazy. Our speeds are about 42 now. Trinipole drove west on Highway 516 into Farmington. After about two and a half miles, the deputy tried again to stop him. This time, the truck slowed to a stop in a right turn lane. As the deputy got closer, he saw Trinipole was in bad shape. We're allowed to see medics now. Hey, what's going on, sir? But the deputy quickly went from worrying about the driver's safety to worrying about his own. Hey, don't touch anything. Do not touch anything. Do not touch anything. Hey, he's got a gun. He's got a gun. It looks like he's got a gunshot wound to the face. The sheriff's office says what you can't see is Trenopole in the truck grabbing his gun, putting his finger on the trigger, and angling the barrel toward the deputy. Put your hands up. Get out of the vehicle. Get out of the vehicle. When Trenopole is finally on the ground, handcuffed. What'd you do? The sheriff's office says it's still not sure why. They believe Trenopole shot himself after pulling over. It looks like he's got a gunshot wound straight to the eye. The sheriff's office says he's threatened suicide before. The deputy on scene said he could smell alcohol on his breath. And online records show he has two DWI convictions. Stay right there, okay? Hey, we're going to get you some help, okay? The sheriff's office says deputies still haven't interviewed the driver because he's recovering at UNM Hospital. When he gets out, he faces a charge for aggravated assault on a police officer with a deadly weapon. Back to you. Okay, Lucia, thank you. You can watch the raw video of that traffic stop on KRQE.com. Albuquerque police officer Joanne Lopez shook.